What's up, my wizards? It's Giant Floating Head Dev here from SPMTG. We just got this spoiler at midnight tonight, and I think it's definitely good enough to take a look at right here and now. This is Crypt Breaker right here. It's a black mana for a zombie, yay. It's a 1-1, one -one, and you pay a generic and a black, you tap it, and you discard a card to put a 2-2 two -two black zombie creature token onto the battlefield. You can also, but wait, there's more, tap three untapped zombies you control, to draw a card and lose a life. Yes, finally, we get a one drop zombie, that's what we've been wanting for a really long time in this standard here, and it does some really amazing things. It assures that we get a two drop creature. It allows us to dump things like prized amalgam into our graveyard, maybe stick swing scab, you know. Third turn, we can follow this up. You know, first turn this, second turn, create a zombie and dump something in the bin. Third turn, we can follow it up in a variety of ways. You know, we can play a relentless dead and have the black mana to, you know, on the third turn to protect the Relentless Dead, that's important, or we can play a Diagraph Colossus. Either way, no matter how you slice it, you'll have enough zombies at that point to draw cards off of them. And remember, newer players, that a creature that you just put into play doesn't have summoning sickness in this way. You can tap it for this guy's ability the turn it comes out. And do note one more thing, that this thing creates untapped zombies at instant speed, which can be ridiculous in certain situations, especially combat situations, on your opponent's turn. So is this the piece that zombies needed in standard? Well, it might actually need another one drop or maybe a really, really good two drop. But this goes a heck of a long way right here and could push the deck over the top, perhaps. I'm not totally sure the deck just wants this one one drop. It probably wants a two power one drop as well. But this right here is super good news for zombies players because it does an awful lot of the things that we need it to do. Still hate the new Liliana? This is pretty good with her, you know? Dump creatures in the graveyard, you can get them back with her later. That's another reason to play her. And just zombies are good to play with Liliana, period, because of that stupid ultimate. And do not underestimate that card drawing ability. That card drawing ability might make the play card see play in other formats. We're not totally sure about modern. There's some discussion on that already. We're not completely sure, but if something does make it see modern play, it'll be that tap to draw cards ability. That thing is crazy, and that'll definitely let the see EDH play. Like, Commander Zombies players are going to love this card, and, and not to mention, this is an insane card in Limited. If you get this in draft, first pickable, and we've only seen, what, a third of the set, something like that, maybe a little less than half that by now, actually, but this is... This is one of the better limited windmill slams in like the last few sets. This card is ridiculous in drafting. You make sure you get it if you get, you know, if you open it. And there's so much to talk about. And if you're in top deck mode, having this on the battlefield ensures you'll always have at least a 2-2 zombie. That's what you're drawing every turn, unless you draw something better than that. So the card is still fresh and maybe I'm freaking out slightly, but the card looks really, really good to me at least. Let me know how you guys feel about it. I know this is definitely something the zombie deck wants. A lot. And it sets up so much for it with Prized Amalgam, Relentless Dead, you know, dump something in our graveyard, we can get it back onto the battlefield when Relentless Dead dies. Just so much that this card plays into synergy-wise. And it's super busted looking to me, so let me know how you feel about it down there in the comments section. I just, I couldn't wait. I could not wait on this card. I had to do a spoiler video because it's pretty exciting if you can't tell. So let me know how you guys feel about it, and I'll see you guys probably tomorrow for more Eldritch Moon spoilers. I'm Dev. From SBMTG, I'm super excited, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching, my wizards.